and I welcome you back to the Debritic channel. My name's Chip. How you doing today? Hope all is well with you guys. And we are talking about big time floods going on in the Lake Powell area, not to mention up in Minnesota, also on the Mississippi River. And we will touch base with that a little bit in the Missouri. Crazy times right now. Lots of rain going on and a lot of dry stuff too. But let's get right out to it. We were going to go out to your 72 hour precipitation map and we're going there now. There has been an area that got over five inches of rain in the Colorado River system here. You got 5.06 just to the south of Montrose and Telluride and it is pretty crazy that there's that much precipitation falling. You got a couple inches over here, 2.46. Even up here you got 2.28. Over at Lake Powell they had hell. I'd be waiting to see tomorrow what the new numbers bring in with this. This is really close to Lake Powell. I'm sure it went up over here just south and to the west of Page. They got over an inch. Lake Powell itself got about 0.8. Over here they had about 0.14. However, up here they got slammed with this 5.06 inches. And then up here even they had quite a bit of precipitation, 2.7. So overall they received around 1.35. So this is really good news for the Colorado River system in general. Lake Navajo is right here. I'm not sure if this goes into the Colorado. I'm sure this is on the other side of the divide if it wasn't though they got 8.06 inches there i think that's on the other side of the divide but i ain't 100 percent sure with this map it's not real detailed but this is pretty good news and there's more precipitation coming you could receive another inch or two let's go out to windy.com and see what's going on this is fantastic but before we do that sioux fall they got 14.3 inches and if you've seen any of the video it's pretty crazy even up here they got nine inches wisconsin this is going to be something we're going to have to watch the Missouri River the Mississippi River is in flood stage now and this is starting to remind me of 93 I live in Illinois in between Springfield and St. Louis and 93 was like we were real dry as we are currently but to the west was real wet and that's what happened but it was also wet in northern Illinois and it's not so that's good news to a degree but not good news for the farmers there is some rain coming but nothing like this I don't think so it's something we're gonna have to watch my friend escape with Jay up there was saying that his river has flooded more than he has ever seen and he's been in his area for over 12 years he said so that's pretty crazy just want to bring it to everybody's attention what's going on and what the current water levels are that i have and let's go out to windy.com now and see how much more precipitation is coming and that's not good news either because there's still 6.97 inches of rain coming on top of the 14 that's almost 20 inches and that's all got to go down the river iowa's going to get hit Heck, they're even saying now Illinois, but Illinois is pretty dry. It could absorb quite a bit of water, but let's get back to the Colorado. As we roll over here, 1.73 inches over here, just to the west of Aspen. Down by Telluride, 1.98. Now the GFS is calling for more solid, maybe a whole swath of two inches possibly coming. So this is fantastic news as the drought continues to recede less and less. Every day it seems like we're getting a little bit more precipitation and it all adds up. I know that snow mainly is what is the driver of rivers rising but any water source doesn't matter if it's snow or rain does ultimately have a role in the water system and is any of this new snow let's check that out now there is no new snow for Colorado so this is just all rain and this is all just rain so we will see what happens the Europeans a little more sporadic as this is probably the more gist of it there's a little bit down here for Lake Navajo possibly maybe Maybe an inch so you're talking anywhere between one inch to maybe just a little bit you know so it's it's all over the place but overall you could possibly get almost two to two to two and a half inches in spots so something we'll definitely be monitoring we'll be monitoring this if the river starts to get real crazy like it did in 93 we'll definitely be on top of that so for all you people who like to watch the rivers come up and down you are in the right spot let's roll out to flaming gorge and see what the flaming gorge is currently doing and we'll do that now as we roll out to the Flaming Gorge, your current water level 6,029.23 feet, and that was Saturday, June 22nd, 2024, at 6 p.m. The level is 17.77 feet below full pool of 6,047. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.14 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also up 1.10 feet over the last seven days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is also up 2.04 feet. 
Over the last 30 days, the lake is up a foot. Over the last six months, the lake is up 1.10 feet. And over the last year, the lake is up 2.48 feet. So that's good news. Your inflows are 2,984. Your outflows are 966. Your three-year bar graph, 6,015.17 feet. In 2022, last year, we were a little bit lower at 6,026.75 feet. And today, we're at 6,029.23 feet. Percentage of capacity, 82. 2.33%. Let's roll on out to Blue Mesa next. As we roll out to Blue Mesa, your current water level is 7,491.48 feet. And that was Saturday, June 22nd, 2024 at 6 p.m. The level is 27.52 feet below full pool of 7,519. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.96 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also up 6.03 feet over the last seven days. The lake is also up 13.6 Seven nine feet over the last 14 days. The lake is up 7.93 feet over the last 30 days. The lake is also up 0.25 feet over the last six months. However, the lake is still down 20.17 feet from one year ago. Your inflows are currently 3,687. Your outflows are 1,021. And we go to your three-year bar graph. And your three-year bar graph, full pool, 7,519. 2022, we're looking at 7,462.49 feet 2023 7,508.94 feet 2024 today we're looking at 7,488.35 feet record high 7,519.64 feet record low 7,303.90 feet and Deadpool is 7,358 feet so just think that one point in time it was below Deadpool so there you have it and let's go to percentage of capacity and the current percentage of capacity 71 point zero four percent let's roll down to lake navajo next as we roll out to lake navajo your current water level is six thousand and fifty one point nine nine feet and that was saturday june 22nd 2024 at 6 p.m the level is 33.01 feet below full pool of six thousand and eighty five changes since yesterday the lake is up 0.07 feet over the last 24 hours the lake is down 0.09 feet over the last seven days the lake is also up 0.72 feet over the last 14 days. The lake is up 4.17 feet over the last 30 days. Over the last six months, the lake is up 8.14 feet. And over the last year, the lake is down 7.67 feet. So that's what we got going on there. Your inflows are 1,511. Your outflows are 334. Three-year bar graph, we're looking at 6,027.57 feet in 2022, 6,059.66 feet in 2023 on this date, 6,051 point nine nine feet today and percentage of capacity we are 70.42 percent let's roll down to lake powell next as we roll out to lake powell your current water level is 3582.42 feet and that was saturday june 22nd 2024 at 6 p.m the level is 117.58 feet below full pool of 3700 and this should go up significantly tomorrow with the amount of rain that we have received in southeast utah they received quite a bit and as you saw there was spots that received quite a bit like a ton of precipitation so this should go up maybe a foot or two i would think pretty quickly here so how much water has come in thus far we are looking at 0.46 feet over the last 24 hours over the last seven days the lake is up 3.78 feet over the last 14 days the lake is up 9.35 feet over the last 30 days the lake is up 18.68 feet over the last 120 days the lake is up 12.87 feet and over the last year the lake is up 2.62 feet your inflows are currently 31,674 your outflows are 10,850 and we go to your three-year bar graph 3,538.83 feet last year we're looking at 3,579.80 feet so we're higher today at 3,582.42 feet percentage of capacity we're almost up to 40 percent we 0.99 percent away from 40 percent at 39.01 percent down to Lake Mead we go next as we roll out to Lake Mead your current water level is 1,063.62 feet and that was Saturday, June 22nd, 2024 at 6 p.m. The level is 155.98 feet below full pool of 1,219.60 feet. Changes since yesterday, we are even Steven at zero, so it gets the up arrow even though it's really not up. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 0.89 feet. Over the last 
14 days, the lake is down 2.19 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 4.79 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 4.43 feet. However, over the last year, we're still up 7.93 feet, so we will take that. Happily, inflows are 11,955. Your outflows, though, are 17,700. And we go to your three-year bar graph, 1,043.68 feet in 2022. Last year, we were 1,055. 0.69 feet and today we are 1063.62 feet so it continues to climb we will take that trend hopefully they start releasing water soon more down to lake mead and hopefully that will help increase it some more we will see ultimately by the end of the year we'll have a better idea percentage of capacity 33.62 percent so let's roll down to lake mojave next as we roll out to Lake Mojave, your current water level is 643.58 feet. And that was Saturday, June 22nd, 2024 at 6 p.m. The level is 3.42 feet below full pool of 647. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.01 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also up 0.60 feet over the last 7 days. The lake is up 0.80 feet over the last 14 days. The lake is up 0.63 feet over the last 30 days. The lake is up 4.44 feet over the last six months. Over the last year, the lake is up 0.32 feet. Your inflows are 16,045. Your outflows are 13,500. Three-year bar graph, 644.11 feet in 2022. 643.26 feet last year and 643.58 feet this year. Percentage of capacity, we are currently at 94.57%. Let's go down to the final stop tonight, Lake Havasu hope all is well and Richard and B I hope you guys are doing well supercharge you are nowhere to be found I hope you're doing well if anybody knows where supercharge is that would be awesome because I haven't heard from them in quite a while as we roll out to Lake Havasu your current water level is 449.46 feet and that was Saturday June 22nd 2024 at 6 p.m. the level is 0.54 feet below full pool of 450 changes since yesterday the lake is up 0.57 feet or the last 24 hours the lake is also up 1.14 feet over the last seven days the lake is up 1.88 feet over the last 14 days the lake is up 1.46 feet over the last 30 days the lake is also up 1.76 feet over the last six months and the lake is up 1.34 feet and we go to your inflows are 13,960 your outflows are 11,100 three-year bar graph 449.04 feet 2022 Last year, we're looking at 448.12 feet. In 2023, 449.46 feet. In 2024, percentage of capacity, we are 96.42%, the highest lake with the highest percentage close to full pool so we will take that and that's all we got hope all is well we will see you guys on the next one god bless